Good ball movement by Oregon State. They miss the shot, get the rebound, but Bright has it knocked away. And there's March Banks. She just seems to be around the basket all the time. And I think that you have to run things that's beneficial for your team. They get it low to Patricia Bright, the 6'4 junior from Phoenix, Arizona, is able to knock it down. Beavers have their first lead of the game by 1-4-3. Paul Westhead said he would not start her, but she would play. They swing it around that zone. A three knocked down by the Oregon State Beavers. Sage and Dendy in the last two games shooting 46% from three-point range. Three straight possessions, three straight turnovers for OSU. Now a steal by the Beavers. Alyssa Martin ahead to Gibson. But there's a lot of rebounds to be gotten. Bad pass inside because Len, Chris Brenner did not have that post position. Gibson gives it up deep. Nice move and dropped by Ariel Thomas. Or excuse me, by Sage and Dendy. Yeah, and Dendy, a little floater in there. Nice rotation. Trying to create, not only finishing the shot, but trying to get a foul call. She doesn't get it. Nice pass. Sure was. Well, they cut up the zone that time. And well, and you can see Oregon State, when they get an offensive or a defensive rebound, Steve, they're coming down, they'll bring it down quickly, but they're not looking to push, push. How about this? They're finding the gaps in the zone. Patricia Bright with back-to-back -back field goals. Oregon State on a 9-3 run. Well, they just get a, a nice pass over the top, inside, and Bright. She's going to be a difference maker already in this first half, and great dribble penetration by Bostic to have the, uh, the zone collapse on her, and again, making Bright a one-on-one -on -one situation, another easy basket. His first year, they, he took that team to the WNIT, and they were first in the Pac-10 in scoring, second in the nation, but Gibson, a big three right there. With the shot clock winding down. Basketball players haven't learned that jump I up. agree with you. One they've got to got, get a lot stronger in, the, in their shoulders and the arms. A three by Alyssa Martin. Patricia Bright is going to have to come out of the game because she now has three personal fouls. She's still on the floor. Brenner has it stripped by Bright. Despite the three fouls, Patricia picks up yet another block, and March Branks brings it into the forecourt. Indendi almost threw it away. Yeah, sometimes when you, you have an open shot, and Dendy made a nice pump fake and then had the shot, kicked it out. Nobody was there, but Marchbanks ran it down. They swing it around to the top of the key where Ali Gibson and lets Allie it fly Gibson. and nails the three. With three centers going in and out of there. Shawkiani Edwards Teasley now in the game for Patricia Bright, who had to go to the bench for three fouls. OSU shooting 31% from three point range, while the Ducks shoot 33%. Mentioned in the first half, 53 points is the lowest point total that Oregon has had this year, but Gibson with another big three in the corner. She has 12. Holiday tries to get it low. Oregon is such a good three-point shooting team that spreads that zone out, so they should be able to get something inside. Four seconds left in the shot clock. They've tied up Johnson beautifully. Amanda made a great move, and as she's tied up, she turns the ball over. Oregon is allowed to get back in their 2-3 oh, zone. Nice. And cutting it apart, Oregon State. That's one of the plays that they worked on yesterday in practice, and it was over. And they, they spent about 15 minutes on that particular play. Ndende with the pull-up. Got it. And it took Ndende off her, and she was able to make that layup. Bright cuts it back to two after the Ducks claim their biggest lead of the night over their arch rivals, the California Golden Bears. And we'll have that Cal Stanford game on Pac-12 Battle Beach tomorrow. Gibson in the lane now with 14 points. And rebounds, but four fouls. But this is where Oregon State, again, they've got the height advantage with their players. Can they take advantage of it? Right. Knocks it down. Oregon State goes back in front by 145-44. A double-double for Patricia Bright. 
nine and 21. They won their first six games this year, and they have 12 coming into tonight's affair. Alyssa Martin for three, a big three at a key time. Huge basket by Martin. Martin has really struggled in this game, and they needed that from her desperately. He told me at Loyola Marymount, they once timed them getting it from end line to end line in 1.8 seconds. Oh, listen, Allie Gibson has been sensational in this game with 17 points, and that three makes it a two point game. That release was unbelievable, but here's a shot by Alyssa Martin knocking it down, and then coming back, Gibson again in the corner and keeping the. Beavers right in this game. Now back to live action. Oh. On the alley oop, it's Gibson for 19 points. What a smart play, not coming down with the ball and then going back up. She caught it in the air and put it in. And she just does it with such ease. Her first practice after the broken thumb was just this Monday. And guess what? Sage and Gendy, who we featured in the open, knocks down a three. Sage has 14 points as Gibson went for the steal, but picks up the personal foul. And for Allie Gibson, that is her third personal. Seven rebounds. Alyssa Martin for three. Martin coming into this game only 26% from three-point range, knocking down another one. I watched Ndendi raise her arms like crowd, let's go, and they have. Gibson extending her defense. She has four fouls. Thomas misses the shot. Renner swings it out. It's a shot clock violation. It did not hit the rim. Look at Gibson. She may be a freshman, but we're seeing leadership emerge. As soon as that violation was called by the officials, Gibson went around to her teammates imploring them. Yeah, I don't think Brenner realized that the ball had not touched the rim because she passed it back out. Otherwise, I think she would have gone back up for the shot. 11 ties, 15 lead changes in this game. Inside, two minutes to play. You know, both teams shooting the three, and who's going to make the mistakes down the stretch? Dendy drawing the defense, kicks it out to Gibson. Who knocks down the three? She's got ice in her veins. And then to come back and play defense and not let Oregon score quickly. That's a new career high for Allie Gibson. 22 points and eight, nothing. Oregon State run, Jackson. Oh, peace. Is that bright again? That's wow. a fourth block shot. Oregon's got a foul. Instead, a timeout is called by the Beavers with 1.13 to play. Oregon up by as many as eight points in this second half. Will it be like last year when Oregon State trailed by 20 and roared back to win by two? High in this game, eclipsing her record of 21. Now she's tied also a career high five three pointers and just getting herself in a position to set up. You know, we talked about her being the basketball player, but she was also a terrific track athlete. So, you, you know, and she just wasn't limited. She was exactly. goalie of the year. <laughs> Martin, a 70% foul shooter. We are in the double bonus now, so two shots for Alyssa Martin, whose father Earl played basketball at Oregon State from 1986 through 90. Well, her very first game, she's wearing her dad's number 24. Her first game scored 24 points, and it was 24 years later coming back to play. Wow. Jackson down the lane. Throws it away. Oregon State's going to win this ball game. And they didn't. Oregon with the steal and reclaimed by Gibson. She's been everywhere. Easily the player of the game for Oregon State with their career high 22. We heard Paul West had at halftime saying, get your eyes on Gibson. Well, you couldn't see her from behind. She does a great job in just protecting the basketball there, knocking it away, making big play after big play in this game. 23 for the freshman. Here she is, 18 years old 
She's been away from mom and dad for what, about six months? and just so poised. And I think she's going to have more games like this the rest of the season. Loetta missing the three. And Oregon State will knock off the Oregon Ducks. What a win for the Beavers. 67-60. There's your star of the game, Allie Gibson. A career high, 23 points. Oregon State pushes the record to 13 and 7 this year. More importantly, 4 and 5 in the Pac-12 Conference. The Ducks, who came in averaging 76 points per game, were thwarted, thwarted by a tremendous defense, particularly transition defense by Oregon State. And Allie is with our Ann Myers. Well, Allie, congratulations! Huge win. What was it like for your first? Civil War game against Oregon. It was incredible. I mean, it was the biggest fans we've had since I've been here. And, you know, I wasn't really coming into the game. The whole team was like, we need to beat Oregon. And I'm glad we did it. Talk about the second half, the adjustments that you guys made, because this game was so close. And Oregon is always in it because of the kind of shooting that they do. We knew that we had to come out with our defense being our A game. And I think we did that. And we slowed down all their drives. And we were able to hit some big shots. Talk about the team effort. I mean, everybody, you, you had a terrific game. You did so many things, you hit big shots, came up with big plays, but everybody seemed to contribute. Yeah, I mean, our team is, we really know how to look for the open player, and nobody's selfish on the team, and everybody hit big shots to help us win. Congratulations, and big win for you guys. Thank you. Fizz, back to you.